Hello, I am Tiara Denson and I wanted to share with you how to post your virtual classroom to Classroom Dojo. A lot of questions have come up about this, so I thought it would be um, very helpful for me to show you how to do it. Let's get started. So there are two ways that I'm going to show you in regards to how you can post your virtual classroom to Classroom Dojo. The first way is that you're gonna go up here to file, you're gonna go to your download, and you're gonna click on PDF. And you will see at the bottom that it is downloading. And um, it's going to download as the name that you, you save it as, which mine is saved as Bitmoji Scenes. So just be mindful when you're saving it to save it as something that you will be able to find when you have to search for it to um, upload it. So once you save it as a downloaded PDF, you're going to go over to your, um, your classroom dojo. And you're going to go to class stories. And from there, you're going to go down to where it says file. And here it says that you can drop the file here, paste, or you can browse. I'm going to show you where you browse. You would simply go to browse, go to download. Mine is saved as Bitmoji Scene. So then I would click on that and click open. You can also just simply drag and drop it. And then click upload file. And it usually just takes a, a few seconds for it to completely upload. Okay, then it is uploaded. Once it's uploaded, you will click, click post. And it's posted. Now I'm going to go over to my student dojo account that I created and I'm going to refresh my screen just so I can show you where it uploaded and right here it just uploaded. So for the students they would just simply click on it and it would come up and then they would be able to just click on the links that are available for them. The second way that you can do is you can go back to your classroom you click on file go down to publish to web and then right here you would just simply copy the link go to classroom the google classroom i'm sorry the classroom dojo and right here where it says what hap what's happening in your classroom, you would simply paste that link, click post, now I'm going to go to my student classroom, and it's there. And then all they have to do is click on the link. That is probably the fastest way um, to do it, but I want to show you both of those ways so that you could see that there was more than one option to post in your classroom to your virtual classroom to Classroom Dojo. And then once they get there, they can simply click on the link and it pops up for them to um, listen to the read aloud if that's what you have chose for them. And that is how you um, post your virtual classroom to Classroom Dojo. Thank you.